Hello, good morning everyone. I'm from again with the new under the tutorial about the view parametric 2.0. Uh, today we will learn about the, some basic things about the change in the dimension. For example, if you are starting your auto video, so you can see it's a view parametric 2.0. Uh, you are seeing this uh, when you are going for the new part modeling, the part, use the particle template. Okay. okay, right now it will be I'm selecting this one. What is it? It's mm, newton, and second part. Sorry, okay. That means you can see this, this, this right now. Whatever you give the dimensions, for example, like this, like this simple example, that is the extrude. If you want to see the how to make extrude, just go to my channel and you can see the video. Okay. Here, I'm not going about, I'm not going to discuss about the extrude, I'm going to discuss about the units. Yeah. I'm just making this thing please in that. So it's one of one. That means right now I'm giving the dimension. The diameter of this uh, circle is equal to 100 and the x2 diameter is a 20 height. That means this 100 is actually is an mm and the height is also the mm. How can we say that this is an mm or inch in the centimeter or meter? Okay. For example, if you are to change the dimension. Uh, make sure that you are going to this word file. You have first come to the file and go to the prepare. This is my model. Okay, then go to the model property. Go to the model property. In this model property, you can see this material. You can assign the materials. Right now, I'm not, uh, not assigning any material. That means it's not assigned material. If you want to change this, change the material. And you can see like this one. This is brown, brass, LO6061, steel. Titanium as well as a 40 FB 30 FB 30. That means you can see the different different models are there. Into the second thing, the units. Right now, what is the by default unit? Millimeter, Newton, and second. Because I am also selecting the by default right now template. I am a Newton second. If you want to change this, click here, change. Here is the unit manager. Okay. There is a centimeter, gram, second, CGS. Is a foot, pound, second, FPS. Is inch LPM second to your parametric diameter. If you want to select this millimeter kilogram second, is millimeter newton second. Okay. Right now, I'm just selecting this one. This is a second. Okay. I want to change from this to CGS. Okay. First, select this one and add the second. Okay. It is changing model units. For example, right now, the dimension of this is 100 mm diameter. If you are selecting the first one, convert the dimension. For example, 1 to 1 inch is equal to. 25.4 mm that means by using this scale that dimension can be converted a model can be converted into the dimension what we give okay if i'm selecting this interpret dimension that means this and give this 100 mm okay diameter and if you are selecting this one the number of the uh, diameter can be changed that means if you give the 100 mm it will directly convert into 100 inches 100 centimeter okay but more of for our comfort test, we are selecting this one interpret dimension. But make sure that when you are going for any kind of assembly part, okay, into the assembly, some part are in the mm, some part in the centimeter, some part in inches. Make sure that you are selecting the conversion dimension. That means your part may be adjust on the set units what we use. Selecting this one and then make it okay. And this right now, uh, this centimeter gram second is activated. Before the I am applying this set, this, this one is activated. Um, this one is activated. Okay. How will how uh, now make it close? Okay. Right now, what is the unit? Centimeter gram. Okay. Now close it. Okay. Now this all the dimension of this one is your inch. This centimeter. So you want to centimeter. Yeah. It's so easy. Thank you for the watching videos.